was uh, one of the earliest Canadian exonerees. David Milgard, known for spending 23 years in prison for a crime he did not commit, has died at the age of 69. He is now being remembered for his work advocating for those who were wrongfully convicted. This really can happen to you. Milgard was only 17 years old when he was charged for murdering a Saskatoon nursing assistant in 1970. He was released from prison in 1992 when new evidence in the case was found. He was exonerated by DNA evidence in 1997 after tests proved serial rapist Larry Fisher was the killer. Once released, Milgard became a champion for the wrongfully convicted. David's case was renowned and famous throughout Canada and his voice was very strong on behalf of, of those who, who found themselves in prison for the crimes of others. Rory McLeod from the Canadian Museum for Human Rights says Milgard was a defender of human rights. He advocated so that nobody else would find themselves in the situation he was in and that we could continue to advance rights and freedoms in Canada, be aware of the impact of wrongful convictions and miscarriages of justice and do something about it. Milgard is pictured in the Canadian Journeys Gallery at the CMHR in Winnipeg. We'll remember him and we'll keep sharing his story here at the Canadian Museum for Human Rights to make sure that the generations to come know his story too. James Lockyer from Innocence Canada says Milgard's legacy is still ongoing. His most recent work advocating for an independent tribunal to review claims of wrongful conviction in Canada. He made it because our justice system finally agreed to acknowledge that he was wrongly convicted. They did it far too slowly, took far too long to do it. And that's why we need the system that David advocate was advocating for, the system of a, an independent tribunal to review claims of wrongful conviction. McCloskey says it's remarkable how motivated Milgard was to create change after being wrongfully convicted himself. He says his story will change many lives down the road. David knows what he went through, how he suffered, and he was bound and determined to help others who are facing and have faced this same situation. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.